Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Sims 4 Dreamhouse. So if you guys watched my last In The City episode, you'll know I was addressing this beautiful sign here. And it was actually in the comments of the last video, I think. Which video would it have been? It would have been the twins! The twins one! I was asking you guys what I needed to do uh, about little Jess Arena and then the twins went on the double date and their parents crushed it. Like, I think Ali and Claire need some attention. They're clearly getting a little bit bored. But anyway, one of you guys had a really good idea about what we could do with Jesse, which is actually to build under the house. Well, you guys said, why don't you build um, a lot on the house, like a mini lot on Dream House, a mini house within Dream House that Jesse could live in. I was like, guys, let's go one better. Let's go down into the basement and build Jesse like a little area there that she can kind of have for herself. She can DJ down there, she can science down there and basically just have as her like home within the home. So as you guys said, most young people can't move out of home now. Like it's very difficult to move out of your parents' home. We're really silly like saying all this serious stuff with my plum bob on. But it's very hard to move out um, of your home when you're a kid. When you've just become an adult, it's tough. And a lot of a lot of like young adults live at home. So I think that's what we should do with Jessie. We should have her living at home, at least just for now. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this episode, guys. If you're excited, give a little cheeky thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below what you think. Hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of the build done today. Obviously, I still want to do like some simming. I still want to do some sim life -ing. But I'm at least going to give it a go and hopefully the funds don't run out too quickly like they did in the In The City episode. So fingers crossed we can build something really cool. And guys, let's play some more Sims 4 Dream House. It definitely says a lot about the music in this game. New, load, new, load, new. That's how I always sync my audio, by the way, for every single episode. But it says a lot about the music in this game that I must have listened to this 50 or 60 times by now. And every time I listen to it, I'm still like, I get really happy. Like, it still makes me super happy, guys. So let's get in there. Let's play some more of the Dream House. And you know what I never realized, which is so good about the Dream House? I mean, I've got the music on quite loud. Let's turn it down a little bit. I never realized how good it was with people to Dream House that they don't have noisy neighbors. They just live in a quiet neighborhood with a quiet house. James and Salmo do not get a break when it comes to that kind of stuff at all. They have a very different life. So just more reasons why the dream house is amazing. Look at it. Look at my beautiful dream house. I may always be cleaning, always be, why is she still having a freaking mood swing? Oh my gosh, Emma, you're stressing me out. Okay, so if we built down a floor, I mean, right now we've just got the pool. Imagine if you could create like a little hole and you could open it and like get into the pool from the basement. That would be pretty sweet. Um, oh, you can go down two floors. Okay. But I'm trying to work out where the best entrance is. Because ideally it would be in the house. I don't know. I think that makes, it makes more sense if it's in the house. I'm also worried that like, this is where Spiral Staircase, by the way, would have been. I freaking deal. Please, EA Maxis, get on the functioning Spiral Staircase ting, please. Oh, look, we've got stuff in our inventory. How cheeky. Okay, so... What am I doing? Getting going to staircases first. So it will have to go down. Like, it's not gonna fit in the hallway unless Oh look, that's replacing that. No thanks. No thanks. So we'd have to like Um We'd have to build it probably outside. You know, next to that gym that I said I was gonna cover. And then I just never did. And look at those plants. Oh yes! Claire and Ali will really enjoy gardening. Oh yeah, sure they will, Claire. That's why they've never, ever built any way of gardening. Um, I guess, I guess maybe like here. It's a bit annoying for her kind of going in and outside all the time, I'm thinking. Um, I mean, we could build like a little room here. It's cutting down the gym space though, if you see what I mean. I mean, could I, could I get rid of the stereo, put a door there? Because then that's probably not going to impact the front of the house too much. I do like the way it looks there, though. Because it's hard. It's hard. She might have to go outside. I don't like the idea of her going outside to get into the house, though. It's kind of lame. Oh my gosh, they've done this in a really weird way. Invalid placement of the bottom of the stairs. Like, what? How, do I have to, like, actually build a bit of a basement before I can... Like, do I have to, like, do this sort of a dealio first? Okay. 13 items moved to household inventory. What? What? Go. 
What just moved? What moved? Weird things moving. Really weird things moving. Look. Like, why can't that be there anymore? And look, it says 13 things moves a household inventory. Lights! <gasps> Pool! Out outdoor lights? I can't tell. <gasps> okay. Okay, so you're gonna have to be quite careful about where you place it. It might actually be better alongside the side of the house. Man, you can tell I've not really done this before. I've never really done basements. Basements, I would say, aren't something that many houses in the UK actually have. Okay, I don't think anything got shifted. So she may have to come up and down from this room. That's fine. Yeah, that's not that's not changing anything at all if I do that. So I think this is a good place to start from. And then let's at least put the little sterinos in, okay? Mega fancy stairs. Okay. Can't intersect foundations. Huh? I can't go through the foundation of the house. She is literally gonna have to go outdoors to get to the house. That's how it's gonna have to be. If I just put the stairs there, okay, she's coming out into the garden. Okay, so we could do we could do them here. And I could put like little railings and like plants along and stuff, and it could look quite nice. For whatever reason, me putting that there has got rid of Oh my gosh, guys. It's done this to it. Why? Why EA and Max is plus? Please stop this. It's madness. It is total and utter madness. <laughs> Me putting the stairs there has just <laughs> made loads of grassy patches. Okay, I'm not going to focus on them right now because I literally can't. I literally can't deal with that. <sighs> I'm slowly falling out of love with this idea. <laughs> I am actually falling out of love with them. Okay, this is quite cool because that's quite hidden and it has grasses on it. And I always like a good grass. I like a good grass. Oh, I don't know what she did. <laughs> Go away. So I quite like that. And we could get, can we get some little like plantarinos around it? Oh my gosh, maybe not that big. Look, it could be like this totally cute little hedged off area. I'm going to get rid of these because clearly no one's ever <laughs> freaking use them. Guys, I've done a thing. And I, just, I don't know why this has just turned into the pose. Oh wait, I could get rid of I was so confused. Okay, I'm trying to put like a little gate on so that Jessie has some privacy. But the gates hate me. They actually hate me. Can't interse intersect foundations. What do you mean? Okay, burn that. No, no gate. <laughs> no gate, guys. Okay, so this is the little entrance. I really wanted to put a gate on it, but apparently I can't. So I may like have a bit of a privacy sort of thing downstairs. I don't like how they're like, as soon as they get downstairs, it's like BAM, you're gonna get smashed into a wall. Okay, I'm gonna like have it a little bit more this side instead. Man, this is like, it's so long since I've done a big build like this. Like it's one thing just like doing some little like bounce things in James and Sam's apartment. But this is like, oh my dude. This is like hard. Okay, so at, at least then she's we can put a little door on. We could put, like, she can lock the door, potentially. Oh my gosh, she could have, like, an ombre door. <gasps> Look at that. You know you're going into Jess's because you got some crazy colours. I wonder if we can, like, just move her bedroom. Is it, can you actually... No, not her rug. Oh, no. <laughs> the rug. <gasps> but her actual bedroom itself? Copy? <gasps> no way. No way. So, oh my gosh, I can just copy and paste her bedroom. What? <gasps> okay, I've done that wrong because the door's on the wrong side. I need to move it around again. Why is it gone over there? No, stop. <laughs> Why are you being so crazy, room? <gasps> or I could just move it. Okay. What happens to the previous room, though, if I just move it? Like, if I just put it, like, here? 10 items moved to household inventory. What? What got moved? What moved around? <gasps> Why is some um, tree, some grass in here? This is really weird. This whole room moving thing is a little bit glitchy. Doesn't quite work. Okay, 10 items moved to household inventory. Is it stuff from Jessie's room? It is, it's like her bed and stuff. Okay, so I can put a bed back. Oh, I bet it's because I used move objects to place the bed. Okay, let's turn cheats on. Okay, that looks right for the bed. 
Her mirror, I remember because we used it last episode, was on this wall. Uh, what else couldn't fit in? Oh, she got these as like her little night lights. Yeah, I think they are literally there from like James era. Maybe we moved them up though for Jessie because of her, um, there we go. Where did this live? Oh man, Jessie has so much stuff. I like stuff though. I think that's what makes the um, rooms look real. <gasps> She's lost her beautiful view though. <laughs> She's gonna have to put up a really big picture on that wall to make up for the lack of view. I don't know if you'd go a bit stir crazy being downstairs. So what's happened to that room upstairs now? Is it just... <gasps> no. Oh! <gasps> Why does it do that? No, we definitely didn't want to do that. Okay, am I gonna have to like rebuild that? What, what, what? That's a bit of a crazy way to do it. You should be able to move a room, but still keep all the stuff, like all the walls and stuff intact. I guess it's just like that, isn't it? Oh man, it was so long ago I put a lot of this stuff into the house. I was literally when I wasn't even sure if we were gonna make like a series out of this or not. That's not right. I was just sort of like uh, building like a dream house because Ali and I were house shopping at the time and I'm like, we still are actually. <laughs> I didn't know whether I was gonna, it was ever gonna lead to anything, but it was like, it's fun. Like I always enjoyed playing The Sims and building in The Sims. And that's when I first built this. I think it took me something like eight hours. I came back over two days to build the house. It was a long, long build. Okay, so this like, this comes out here. It doesn't there. And I don't really know why, guys, because like the fu the shape of the rooms should be identical. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. But never mind, it's not the end of the world. It, I mean, it's annoying, it's annoying the hell out of me, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, wait, there we go. That's it, that's it. Kaboom. Okay, so that room's like free now. Free for anyone. You know what? Since you guys were upset about little Emerino's room. I'm still not sure if I'm even putting Jesse down. I don't know if this is a really bad idea or not, guys. I can't, I can't tell. My brain is not sure whether this is a good idea or not. <laughs> Let's go back down to the hell hole. Because I'd need to put like um, a kitchen and everything in, wouldn't I? You know what it needs? Some freaking lights, that's what it needs. I put these lights in Salma and James's and oh my gosh, they kick out so much light. The light to price price ratio of these, oops, I hate how that one's placed. The light to um, price ratio is amazing. Look at that. Everything's beautifully bright already. So I guess that would be where her bedroom is. She doesn't really need this bit of the wall not to be there anymore. So what I, oh, stop picking up. The <laughs> what I could do is like extend there. And she's got a little bit more room in her room now. A roomy room. So she's actually like, yeah, I think that's better and I can, oh, that's part of it. She doesn't need a school bag anymore. She can keep the webbit. She can keep little webbit. There we go. And then this would be like her living space. I mean, she, this, this kind of work adds a lot of value to the house. I'm just putting it out there. A lot of value to the house. I really like this. Like I've used this in Summer and James's as well, but I really like this wood collection because I think it's like really real looking. Misty forest. That's quite cool. She could have a feature wall with that. Oh, she needs a bathroom. Oh my gosh, guys. She's going to need such an insane amount of stuff. I don't know how we're going to afford it all. That's my worry. Okay, it's going to have to be like a work in progress kind of thing. Something that we build up sort of um, slowly over time. Just because otherwise um, we're not going to be able to pay the bills. <laughs> I think they had just enough money to pay the bills. And now that I've done that, they can't even do that. So... We have to be careful, we can't just focus on Jessie. There's a whole like rest of sort of house type sitch to organize as well. Okay, that's as far, oh, I don't know why that's not painted. That's as far as I'm gonna take it just for now. Just because, have oh, I just done the wrong side now? I really don't want them not to be able to afford the bills, but Jessie's room is now downstairs. Guys, I'm not quite sure. Like, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it. In my head, it was like the best idea ever. And now I'm like, I don't know if I hate it or not. I don't know. I don't know. You guys are going to have to give me some feedback on that, I think. Claire, you're going to have to eat. <laughs> Is this spoiled? No, it's fine. Eat the mac and cheese and then you're going to have to paint for us because we're going to need some money to pay that off now. I don't get this. They watch kids TV and then they get bored. 
Like, just change it to, like, action. Okay, <laughs> let's send Jessie to her new sleep. I don't know if you'd get properly depressed being down here. I wish you could put, like, a hole in the seat and, like, glass and shine some glass down. But then imagine, that would be, like, oh, no, 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 what's going on here? It would be in the hallway. It would be, like, glass instead. Are you gonna let me do this? Oh, no. Guys, what what is with this bug? Can somebody please explain this bug to me? Because I don't understand why it's doing this. Like, what is it doing? I can't get rid of that stupid grass in the hallway. Like, it won't even let me try. That that has got to be the most annoying bug in the game for me because I hate having stupid grass. Like, it looks so lame. Jess is reading and she's got like work in like four minutes, so let's not do that, Jess. Okay, she's going down. Oh, she's super tired. She's got work in four hours. Four hours, Kip. Okay, you're not getting sad feelings from being downstairs, are you? No. Nicely decorated, sleeping soundly. I think she's happy with that kind of stuff. Where's Emma? Is she still asleep? She always be sleeping, that one. Make a sack lunch, okay? Veggie and hummus sandwich. Oh my gosh, I would go for one of those right now so hard. Look at her come downstairs and get stressed because she has to be around her loving family who raised her and gave birth to her. Okay, so Emma's got her little uh, packed lunch she just made. Ready to bring to school. I don't know if she's going to like eat it when she's at school. I've never seen them do that. I've literally never seen them do that. I don't know if it's more if you go away somewhere, but they always just come home with their lunches. So I don't think it's actually a school lunch. I think I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Jessie is off to go nap in a bush. What? What? Jesse, What are you even doing? That looks like the most horrific place to nap. I don't even know why you would put yourself through that. I mean, if you want to nap, go nap on the sofa. Okay, so we're going to send Jesse off to work. We're going to send her off alone today, I'm afraid. Because I need to try and get money from other people while I can. <gasps> Teach us to break up a fight between Emily and another student. I don't know why they're ringing Jesse asking this stuff. Because, like, she and their parents. <gasps> Emma's got two hard tests. Okay, study for your hard test. Small gain for Emily. Small loss for Emma. Okay, and now Jessie's off to work. Oh, Jessie, she's so tired. Socialize, okay? Ali, you're at home alone. You're gonna have to do some hacks to get some money, I'm afraid. Because we definitely need a lot of money. If we want to pay the bills, hack super computer. There we go. Hack, um, I'm just saying, we need money for the whole downstairs renovation. And we need money for the bills because we still not paid them. And they're gonna shut the power off. And when they shut the power off, Ali can't do hacks. Okay, Jessie f finished a task earlier than she expected to. Research art or listen to music. She would probably listen to music, wouldn't she? <gasps> Jessie browses for a good song and hits repeat when she comes across uh, one with a good beat. What starts as a quick yeah. distraction is an energizing rush that leads to one of her most productive work days in months. But she needs more breakthroughs. This is the thing. She needs more breakthroughs hey. to get a promotion. Oh, she's had six. Oh my gosh, Jessie. Jessie, today could be the day. Work hard, okay? Uncomfortable from last resort bush nap. There's beds all over the house. Why did you go to sleep in a bush, Jessie? You brought that upon yourself. Bushes are for Salma and James to do woos in and that's it. It's the only reason for them. You have 24 hours to pay your bills. Oh my gosh. Ali, hope these hacks come through. How much are we gonna get? Ali tried to hack the computer, but it hacked him instead. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have to call for a repairman now. Hire a repair service. That sucks. Good job, we've got another computer that we can hack on instead. He's gonna <laughs> break my computer now. Okay, let's go for something less extreme this time. Go for the uh, Lothario Trust then. Look how exact that time is, 129. If you actually get repairman, they're like, I'll come between 9 a.m. on Tuesday and 7 p.m. on Friday. Please, can you have all those days off work? I'm stand by the door listening. Yay, we got two. Oh, you're gonna have to do better than 200 pounds, Ali. 200 pounds is small fry, okay? Hack the no National Sim Security Agency. Packed with love from eating sack lunch. So she actually did get a boost from eating a sack lunch. And now she's immediately depressed again. This is Emma, by the way. Oh, yeah, we got some accounts. And now she's immediately depressed again. Oh! Yes. Yes! Yes, this is good news. Claire's been promoted at work, and she now gets to become a master of the real. You have real talent at others starting to recognize it. Live your art. Treat it with gravitas. And the world shall follow $65 an hour. Or... $70 an hour to be a patron of the arts. Your taste now is impeccable and you can make great things happen. Show off what you know as patron of the arts. We can either get a rustic dream bed. <gasps> There's no rewards for that one. Ah, I don't know. Which one do you think? 
This one pays more. This one pays more. I don't know which one will pay more in the long run though. That's more about art taste, I guess, and that one's more about being an artist. Let's go for- I'm gonna go for the one that pays more. <gasps> we got an RT supply tabore. What is that? Let's have a little look. <gasps> oh wow, look at that! We can put that in her artsy room. <gasps> there we go. Squeeze that little number in there. We've got some stuff in here we can sell as well, you know. <gasps> oh my gosh, I forgot to put- I forgot to put my, um, vines on the outside of the house. Okay. We've actually managed to sell some, some stuff from the family adventure now, so we've got a, we've got good money! Well done, little Clarino! she got a thousand pounds bonus as well, guys. Okay, and she's got some artwork to sell. She's in a bad mood because she's tired. But at least we can sell this stuff too, and then we may be able to pay the bills. Claire, you need to get your little butt into bed. Who are you, Paxton? No, I don't want to celebrate with you. And then do you think we should move Emma into this room? I mean, it's pretty easy to do. I can do it right. I can do it right now, guys. Watch this. She doesn't have tons of stuff, which is handy. Okay, there we go. Everything has moved out of that room and into this room. So there we go, guys. Emma's room is now here. I feel like she needs a rug. I know I keep saying oh, I need stuff to spend money because we got done. And then I keep buying things. But she needs a rug, okay? There we go. A little rugging in there for her as well. I think her room's starting to look pretty good. She could probably do with a little bit more wall art. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like graffiti wall art. That's quite cool. And she's got, look, uh, her little guitar in the window there. That's pretty, isn't it? There we go. Her room's starting to look way, way better. That uh, big, huge, like, graffiti mural has reminded me that we need some stuff for down here in Jesse Bob's room. Something big. None of this stuff is big. Oh, that's pretty big. Oh my gosh, that's freaking huge. We could give her this big Japanese dude. I actually think Jessie would be well up for that. She'd be like, that's pretty freaking cool. I also think she'd probably like, that looks like very Borderlandsy to me. She'd have something like that. But right, we need to stop spending, guys. Gotta stop, oh, I don't think Jessie's claimed that bed. We need to stop spending because, um, uh, no, she does have that bed. Because we need to pay the bills. So Claire's off to go sell some of the artwork. Did she sell it? Are we a richer? What, where am I going? What's going on? No, Claire, sell the art, for God's sake. And then you can sleep. <gasps> sell this masterpiece? Oh, what? A masterpiece that gave us 700 pounds. Claire, I remember when your masterpieces used to get six grand. What has happened to you and your skill? It's just not there anymore. Oh my God, she's vexing me so much for this. <gasps> Ali, you need to go to work. Get your butt to work. Oh man, it's so awkward with the twins. Emily's just on a phone. Uh, and Emma's just vexed. <laughs> I think I don't think they like each other very much. No, they don't. Like Emily really gets along with Claire. She gets along really well with Ali, but she gets along kind of well with Jesse. Doesn't like Emma at all. In fact, they were arguing with each other last episode. Oh my gosh, Emma really doesn't like Jesse. All these strange little things. Like, look how angry she looks. She's angry just from being around family. Like, look at that miserable face. Like, it just makes me angry looking at her. Oh, she's happy now. There we go. She's actually in a good mood now. But I don't know how long she's gonna stay, like, hating her family. Because it makes her a difficult child. A difficult child to love. Now they're both just on the phones. <laughs> Not talking to each other. You'd think to say that they were twins, that they would get along better. Jessie did not get the promotion, guys. She's close, but she's not quite there yet. She's also really tired, so she needs to... I'm getting like my orientation for downstairs is very bad. Hopefully she can actually make it downstairs. Cause look, she's all uh all worn out. What do you think of your new wall art, Jesse? <laughs> Don't get scared of it. Don't let it give you nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, then maybe hope for these guys yet. Yeah. See some high five in action. Some high five in going on. Maybe maybe they will change their mind and become better twins. I love these sofas up here. I love this house. Like I put, I did spend a lot, a lot of time designing this house, making it all pretty and gorgeous. And I think it shows. I think it's a really nice house. In fact, once we finish Jesse's downstairs, I will put it up onto um, the gallery so that you guys can download it too. Claire's just got a call to say something crazy is going down at the ancient ruins. Want to check it out? I kind of do. I don't know what's going on, but I kind of want to know. Oh my gosh! It's like a ruins party. What? How cool is that? Oh my gosh, you can just go light a bonfire. They've just like got a DJ here. 
Look, you can tell this is a good DJ as well because she can play all the genres. She's playing like a, re a remix of um, some sort of Sims music there. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, Ali's on two grand. This is kind of cool. It is quite a cool thing that it does. It's just kind of sad because like Claire's like YOLO in it on her own. You guys also said that Claire's got some wrinkles. I don't, I don't think she looks wrinkly. She looks kind of scary this close up. I think if anything, she just looks like thinner in the face. She looks a little bit thinner in the face. Oh my gosh, look at this girl. Look at her going. Okay, Claire, this is ridiculous. It's a school night. You're like 50 and you're out partying. What are you doing? Head home. The sim cannot go home right now. What? Oh, it's a dance party. Okay, end the dance party. <laughs> you need to go home, Claire. It's quite cool that you can get a, a secret hidden party at the ruins, though. No idea who the guy that called her and was like, do you want to go hang out at the ruins? I don't think she'd ever seen it before in his life. She was like, yeah, sure, this is not going to get me murdered at all. Oh, look at these two having their little... Her breakfast is a bit stinky. Let's start having breakfast watching some TV together. I like how she just dumped it on the floor, like, meh. What the hell, Emily? If you're hungry, go make yourself some food. Don't be moaning. Oh my gosh, Jessie has gone in that freaking bush again. Why does she keep doing that? Why does she keep doing that? Get out. I'm going to have to sell this bush because she won't stay out of it. The bush is gone, Jessie. You've proven that you don't deserve the bush. Okay. I'm going to join Jessie quickly at work just because we need some more money. And I get paid more if I go with her. Because last time, I think when I went with her, she earned about six, seven hundred dollars. She goes to work on her own, she only gets three hundred. So, plus I might be able to get her a promotion. Plus I quite like going to work with her. Like the science thing is fun. She's not in the bestest mood though. Um, you'll be busy conducting essential experiments, research researching new technology, maybe even interacting with alien life. It's your job to leverage potent scientific equipment for the purpose of good, we hope. <laughs> Well, welcome. Okay, so last time she was collecting materials, but it doesn't sound like that's what she's doing today. Hello, so at the chemistry lab? What is the chemistry <laughs> yeah, lab? Is this a chemistry lab? Oh, huh. And then Delirious select synthetic Rie. food from picker. What does a chemistry lab look like? Is this a chemistry lab? Nope. Uh, <gasps> oh, synthesized serum. Okay, what was it? Synthetic food? There we go. Boom. Right now, she's practicing her analysis. I like following her to work. I think it's fun. She's such a cute little scientist head. Oh my gosh, she better get a pay rise today because we've lost power again. Guys, if you've downloaded Dreamhouse, please prepare to be rich because... Oh, she learned nothing new about Zoe. Uh, it's very expensive to run that house. Like, very expensive. Oh no, look, she's so tired that she's gone for a nap. <gasps> Guys, that's not good. She needs a coffee. How is there no like scientific machine that can just instantly make her happy? Oh gosh, Jessie. This was not a successful day, guys. <gasps> oh, she got promoted though somehow. She's got cool glasses now. She did an adequate job. The beaker was half full. That can be said at least. She's prom promoted to a serum sequencer. She makes an additional $9 per hour. Nine simoleons per hour. 48 simoleons per hour in total. She also received a 312 pound bonus and a chemistry lab. Her next shift is on Monday. Okay. She's gonna have to go directly to bed. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 pounds. And then we're gonna have to see if we can pay these bills. <laughs> it's hard being a dream house dreamer person. Okay, Jessie, get, get to bed, honey. Get to bed. At least she's got cool new glasses. And we have no power. <laughs> We have literally no power. Okay, Claire, you're gonna have to get painting. It's all down to you, honey. <gasps> Ali's back with 2,000 pounds. Ali, can you pay the bills for us on the phone? <gasps> you ready? You ready? This has happened so many times to us. <sighs> we have power and we have 1,600 pounds. And when Claire finishes these paintings, I will be able to do a little bit of decoration downstairs. Let's see if Emma, one free, one free. You are now following me. Okay, so Claire has sold one painting, sold two paintings. Have a little bit more cash. Why? Oh, she's embarrassed because she did a little wee wee on herself. Oh, Jessie. Okay, let's go back into build mode. Let's see if we can get you a little kitchen arena downstairs, okay? Which selection? We should do it all from the same one. We've got Youngway fridge. This is one custom contact. We've got Soho. 
That's Soho, and then Youngway is more like this. Oh wow, that barely even looks like a fridge. That's crazy looking. Um, These ones are cheap. Oh my gosh. Fridges are so expensive. But that one's like so nice looking and it's like so cheap. How is that possible? I do want it to look like a little bit different to upstairs though. More like this. Like I want it to be different for sure. Okay guys, I'm down to 31 pounds. <laughs> But here's where I've got on the kitchen so far. So we have got some stuff in there. Like, I can't afford the fridge yet. But we've got the little cooker. And the little cooker hood. Then we've got Jessie's room over here. Like, you guys are going to have to tell me what you think about all of this. Because I think it could be... Let me just go back in. I think it could be really cool. I think it could... <laughs> where am I? There we go. I wish you could just, like, open the door. I think it could end up being like a cool space, but obviously it does need like a lot of work. We need to do a lot of work on it to get it looking nice again. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you think this is a good idea and what you think of the house so far. Next episode, we'll try and save a little bit more money and we can finish this off. I will get it looking much more Jessified as well. So we'll have loads of artwork everywhere and I'll like, um, might even move, up, move our decks out into the living room. We've got a chemistry lab to set up. In fact, that should be in the household inventory. So, I should be able to just pop that out now. Yeah, look at this. She's got her own chemistry now. <laughs> Why not? Probably should put it over there where it's out, out of reach of um, little ones. Well, they're teenagers. But still, you don't want them messing around with a chemistry set. So, she can do some chemistry in at home. And I think, I think it's starting to look quite good, guys. But let me know what you think about this whole idea of Jessie living in the basement. And let me know what you think about her house so far as well. Her little mini house, a little flat, basement flat, in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Sims 4 Dreamhouse. Bye!